Hey guys, touch the layer everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today recipe I'm going to show you how to make Tibetan Tendu. So many people request me how to make Tibetan wedge Tendu. So today I'm going to show you wedge and non wedge and hopefully you guys helpful this video and let's get started how to make and if you are visit in my channel first time please don't forget to click the red button also click the um, bell if you click the bell you will get always notification when I upload a new video so first I'm going to make dough so for dough ingredient we need flour and water that's it and dough it's very simple we we normally how to make a chapati dough is like the same Continuously knead the dough until dough become not smooth and soft. This dough becomes soft and just apply a little bit oil. Once it's done, the apply oil and cover and leave it for 20 minutes. So you can make directly also. And here I'm going to blanch to my bone, add the bone and meat and just boil for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes later, I'm going to take out and wash for properly. In this way, it's very easily remove the old dirty. So once you done the wash, now it's time to make a stock so for meat here I choose mutton you can use any kind of meat chicken mutton pork whatever you like and for extra flavor here I choose one onion and some slice ginger add some bell leaves and finally I'm gonna add Half teaspoon shishan pepper, half teaspoon salt, and add two cup of water. And cover and now we have to boil for 20 to 25 minutes until not become soft the meat you have to cook. Now next I'm gonna prepare some dropping ingredient. So here I choose one potato. So peel the potato and slice and put in water. And follow the all step onion also. Slice and set aside. So repeat the all ingredient. Here you can go with pinach and bok choy. So here I'm gonna add bok choy. So if you find the baby bok choy, so you don't need to chop. So if too large bok choy, so I'm gonna separate the leaves and root. Now I'm gonna make vegetable stock. For this we need to add two tablespoon cooking oil. After heated the oil, I'm gonna add onion. Add half teaspoon salt and fry for continuously until not golden brown color. The once a golden brown color, the I'm gonna add tamander. Add the tamander and make until not smooth tamander and onion. The once the tamander onion smooth, then I'm gonna add water. Add the water and continuously boil. After start to boil the water, I'm gonna add potato and cook for until not cook the potato. Now let's prepare the non-veg also. 
so now my meat already cooked now I'm gonna stand the soup stand the soup and take out the all meat and put back to pot so if you feel less the soup so you can add water take out the all meat and put in pot and let them boil after start to boil the water I'm gonna add radish and continuously boil until radish and potato not so let's prepare the noodle so before making the noodle so you have to apply little oil in your hand it will not stick the dough in your hand and by the way you can make any kind of design as you know so in this way it's for me very easy so I always go with this this style now take a one knife and cut long step and one more cut and this way is very easily you can take out and pull now check the potato is cooked or not so once the potato cook now I'm gonna add pok choy root add the pok choy root and same time I'm gonna add noodle also take out the noodle and little pool how much as you can make thin you have to make so thin do is how much as you can make a thin so it will more delicious Now take out the noodle and just follow the video. In this way it's very easily you can pull your noodle and it's very easily make very thin. Now hold in your hand and one then you have to drop your noodle you have to cut white pieces your hand and you have to put it's very difficult to explain you can follow the video and once adding the noodle you have to reduce the little heat after that and you have to move fast your hand otherwise it's very easily cooked this noodle the once all noodle done now it's time to add pok choy leaves add the pok choy leaves and mix it lightly And now I'm gonna add half teaspoon soy sauce and just drop I'm gonna add sesame oil. Sesame oil is optionally. It will keep nice flavor so that's why I add. This is not necessary but now my vegetable tindu is ready. Now it's move on the non-veg. So making style is both of same so how did before is so you have to follow this step only stock is different otherwise making style is same once it done the add the noodles now it's time to add pok choy leaves by the way if you don't have pok choy leaves you can definitely go with finish or you can go with more vegetable so add the bok choy leaves and generally you have to mix it well. Make sure don't overcook your noodle. 
Now I'm gonna add just a little bit black pepper and I already add the salt and salt is according to taste you can definitely add. Now it's time to ready. So this is the vegetable tendu. It doesn't look like it's delicious. And next. So which one is your favorite? Don't forget to leave comment below. And I hopefully this video will help for you. And for more video guys, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends and family. Even they also enjoy this delicious and healthy food. So guys, thank you so much for watching my video and we'll see you in next video. Bye bye.